Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while yet again since I've done one of these and uh, yeah, I figured that now would be a pretty good time to actually get into uh, doing this stuff again. I, I keep saying that and it keeps not happening, but I'm going to try and get a bunch of these done before Christmas. Just so that there's a steady stream of videos for you guys and up until the new year. So, uh, you guys might recognize this arcade stick or uh, controller if you will, since it doesn't really have a stick. Uh, this is the Hitbox, and this was actually, for those who have been following the channel for a very long time, you'll know that this was actually the one that I reviewed uh, back in 2016, I think it was. Uh, it was a long time ago. It was when I did my uh, the original Hitbox review. And uh, this actually got sent over to my friend. My friend has been playing on this ever since. And he's, uh, he's a hitbox player, and he came back to give this to me when I made that other video of the Quanba Obsidian that I turned into a hitbox that was for him. He, uh, we did the switch, and he gave me back this one because this one was starting to have some problems. And we're going to go out over all those problems, and we're going to uh, try and solve it as best we can. But before we go ahead and do that, we're going to talk about the merchandise. If you go over to the link down in the description, it'll be like right here-ish or whatever at the bottom. Uh, the link, it's a Teespring, the Teespring store. You can go and get yourselves one of the uh, our shirts, hoodies, some of our merchandise. There's a whole bunch of stuff on there. If you want to get something and help support the channel, then go ahead and check it out. Pick something up. We are still doing a discount uh, sale or something like that. I think it's $4 off shipping or whatever. It's code Doria, I believe it is, D-O-R-Y-A, super original, but uh, I believe that goes until the end of the year or something like that. So use that, get yourself some merchandise if you want to help support the channel, and it would be greatly, blah, 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 blah. greatly appreciated. So thank you again. This guy here has some problems. Uh, he was complaining to me that... The cable, for one, wasn't really working, and I've already looked on the inside of this, and uh, I already know that one of the cables is loose, and, uh, oh god, my back's killing me today. Uh, one of the cables that connects this cable to the PCB was loose, one of the wires, and uh, I thought about it, and I could go over and, because most of this is just super, it's hot glued in uh, after being soldered, and I could go through and re-solder it, but... I thought it would be easier since this was a previous generation hitbox to just go ahead and take all this crap out and put in some new hardware. Now we have a whole bunch of stuff on the on the workbench here, the work desk, whatever you want to call it. Somebody said they really liked how this thing looked, all spray painted and scraped off and looks like it gets worked on a lot. It does. So thank you for noticing that. Uh, we got a whole bunch of parts over here. I'll talk about the parts right after we talk about all the tools we're going to need. First thing we're going to need is we're going to need a screwdriver. Uh, the PCB is mounted in with some with the Phillips, so we're going to need that. Uh, next thing is going to be a drill, and uh, the reason why we're going to need that is we're making this uh, from a PS3 stick into a PS3, PS4 stick because we're using a Brook uh, PS4 fighting board, or a PS4 Plus, so it works on PS4 and PS3, and we're going to need to install a whole bunch of stuff we got. A whole bunch of parts here. I believe I got everything that I need. I hope. Yeah, I should. Anyway, yeah, that's gonna be one thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna have to drill out some new holes uh, for the back here. And this is just gonna be this this whole leveling thing is whatever. It's just to get straight lines when we center out where we're gonna be doing the holes for the buttons and whatnot. This is a step-down bit. You guys have seen this a bunch of times. Uh, the step-down bit is really just so that we can get the right hole diameter and it makes things easier, especially when you're going through metal. So for the parts, we are going to be using a Brook PS4 Plus board. Works on the PS, it says compatible Switch, PS3, PS4, and PC with X input. Next thing we're going to be doing is uh, we got the cables. We have our uh, USB cable. We've got our 20 pin. We've got all of our button connections and arcade stick connections. We got everything that's going to be for the uh, the L3 R3, the switch, the touchpad, all that good stuff. 
this is just so we can convert this uh, wiring harness for hitbox. Uh, this thing managed to lose some of those uh, feet that go on the bottom. They screw in the uh, base plate. So I went and I went onto the site. I forgot what it's called right now. I can't remember the top of my head. But they make these uh, replacement uh, feet that look exactly like the ones that are on the hitbox. So we're going to be, there's one missing. I'm just going to put three more in just so all of the uh, holes are filled with, all the holes have that feet and, uh, or have those same kind of uh, screws. Next thing is we're going to be using, since I don't really have any like white 24 millimeter buttons to put up here, I got a black one. And I got silver and black, so it's going to be kind of jank up at the top, but that's until I can get some extra parts ordered in, and I can just replace that. So these will be temporary. And that's going to be for the touchpad as well as the L3R3. The next thing we're going to be doing is, if you're familiar with the buttons that I originally used on the, uh, the Quanba, uh, the Obsidian hitbox conversion video, uh, these are the same buttons. These are the ones that I had left over after I did the whole top, the uh, plunger swap. So we got four red, we got four white. I think that works perfectly because the hitbox is primarily, pri 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 primarily black, white, and red. And then of course we need a Seimitsu button. We got a clear red one that's gonna be replacing this 30 millimeter down here. If you guys didn't know by now, hitbox uses, what is it? 11 24 millimeter buttons and one 30 millimeter. So that's pretty much the extent of it. So we're going to get right to it. I'm going to change the camera angle. We're going to go and film, like, finding out where we're going to be putting all these holes. And then we're going to, yeah, we're going to get right into it. We're going to do all the mods and then we're going to come back after we do some testing. Oh, one other thing that I forgot is that you're going to need some safety glasses. So uh, I don't have them here, but when I go into doing the drilling, because this is metal and not plastic, uh, you will see me possibly wearing those if I'm in the shot. <laughs> But just so you know, if you're going to be drilling into this, this is metal. You don't want any hot metal shavings flying into your face. Just fair warning. If you're going to, if you're going to copy what I'm doing here, just, just to let you know. So how we're going to be doing this is these three are uh, same Mitsus already. So these three buttons are going to be remain, uh, remaining. We're going to be taking all of these buttons off basically, and then uh, before we do any of that, I've already gone ahead and done one, but if you guys can see here, I've kind of marked in pencil where I'm going to be drilling. This is kind of the spacing between each of these, these three buttons. And then I'm going to be doing, uh, I've marked it kind of in the middle, as close to the middle as I can get so that I can drill this properly and get these spaced right. So I did that was, uh, I got some, I believe, what are these calipers? Probably. That's probably what they're called. I forget right now. But uh, I've had these for a while. I use them to measure. I'm just going to zero it out. And basically what I did was I used the opposite side. Measure out. It's about like... about It's about like 975-ish. You know, between 60 and 80. So what I did there was then I measured it out from there. And that's where the side of the button is going to be. And then I measured 24 millimeters out because these are 24 millimeter buttons. And this is where the end point's going to be. I went into the middle of these. So it's about 12 millimeters in the middle. And then I measured this size out, which is about 50 millimeters, 50.8 millimeters. So I went in about 25.4 just to get it kind of in the middle. And then that's where I marked all the holes and everything. That's where this comes in. So you use it to kind of get straight lines when you're going to mark them. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of demonstrate that.
circle mark right there. That's about where it is in the middle right here, where I measured the first line. So these are where the two holes are going to be. And uh, before we get, and that's just how I'm going to get these two measured. Uh, I'll do the other hole later, which is going to be for our quick dis for our uh, cable. To quick disconnect our cable, you know, where you plug it into the console and all that. So with that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and open this guy up. Uh, I'm not too worried about scratching this. This looks like it has some dirt in it. So we're going to be pulling these off and we're going to be uh, cleaning those up as well. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing taken apart. I also forgot, use something to keep your, uh, your arcade stick off of the ground, off of the table that you're working on so you're not scratching up the buttons. So I've gone ahead and taken away uh, some of this stuff already, This, these uh, screws. Just because we're going to be replacing all of them, I just wanted to keep these screw-on ones. And that's going to be going into the work tray. This we can keep out of the way. It's pretty dirty. But let's go ahead and get all this taken care of. We're going to be reusing this stuff. So we're going to be reusing these screws. So we go ahead and just take them out. Now they have this one here for grounded. Uh, we don't need a ground where we're going. So that one's just going to be an extra screw. I'm just going to screw it back in after I'm done. I might be able to use it for some sort of cable management. I don't know. Who knows? But we're going to get this out of here. We're also going to unplug everything. And that is it for this harness here. Go ahead and put that off to the side. We'll throw that down there. It doesn't really matter too much. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and uh, for anybody who uh, doesn't know how to get rid of these guys, screw-ons when they're really tight in here, you bring the camera a little bit closer. When you gotta get these things out because they're tight, you can always just, that's how you tighten them. Turn them counter, or turn them clockwise to loosen them up. Makes it easier. So we'll go ahead and take these out real quick just to give them a quick cleaning. Seems like there's stuff on the inside. Just so you guys know, that's how you pop them out. Yep. That was just dirt on the inside. I think he lives in a place with a cat, and that's probably how that hair gets in there. Cat hair, dog hair just gets everywhere. So, after it's clean enough, just pop it back in like that. Though it looks like it's still not clean enough, so... For those of you who don't know, there's a little tab on the side. You just pop it open like that. And you know what? We're going to grab a cleaning cloth. Yeah. Give those just a quick clean, and then we'll pop them back in. Alright, so we got those cleaned out, and uh, next we're just going to pop all these face buttons out, and uh, these are going to be a pain in the ass, because they're Sanwas, especially when they're like this. That's why a screwdriver is also handy for pushing in the tabs.
All right, now that we got that taken care of, this is an empty shell. I think we'll be able to at least get one of these things done. So what we're going to be doing is taking these two middle holes, and we're going to be using just a regular bit. I'm not sure. No, let me just measure how big it is so people don't, don't go like, oh man, how big was it? About four millimeter bit. The hindsight just has to be small enough and go through sheet metal. Now, in the end, it won't be 100%, but be close enough. Right. Got those two holes drilled out. Got all those metal shavings. I'm going to go throw those away and wash my hands. So of course the next thing that's going to happen that I'm not going to show on camera is that you're going to be taking your step bit and you're going to be drilling basically down into this deal here, into the holes that you drilled out, and that's going to go deep enough to where it's 24 millimeters on here, which I forget what it is, it's labeled, but the thing has been used so much that there's not really any... any way for me to see what the numbers are anymore <laughs> this third notch right here that's what one one inch I guess that's what it is yeah at one you can kind of see the numbers still at one that's where it's going to be drilled into and that's where you're going to get the hole big enough to uh, mount in these uh, to mount in more 24 millimeter buttons so I'm going to go ahead and do that off screen so just remember to wear eyewear uh, protect your eyes and take this outside. We're just going to drill down until it's there. We'll be good. One thing that you shouldn't do when uh, drilling this stuff out is drill a hole that's a little bit too big. As you can see, this one looks right, but I went a little overzealous with it and it snaps in, but likes to wiggle around in there. So uh, it looks about right, but you know, this isn't a 100% pro job, so <laughs> I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be all right. The next thing I did was I drew, this one is actually the right size. Uh, that one's actually 24. And I already did the two holes here. So I can put the this little guy here, the quick disconnect deal on here. And if I actually put a 24 millimeter button in there, it snaps in pretty much perfectly oh god now i need to get it out almost perfectly all right got it out <laughs> that was a pain in the ass a little bit tighter than 24 but it's almost there it's good enough for what i need to do for the uh for the usb port anyway so the two things extra you're actually going to need is first off you're going to need some screws um they're called fastener Fast and air, I guess that's how you say it. These are the, uh, that's basically what you're going to need. 440, three quarters of an inch. And then I believe that these should work as well. They're 440. Uh, they're the hex screws that go on the opposite side. They're hex nuts. Yeah. So what I did was after that, after I drilled this hole, I drilled two more smaller holes that were a little bit smaller than the actual uh, than the actual screw size, and then I do it this way. There's probably better ways to do it, but I'll take it and I'll just make the threads myself by just constantly doing this over and over again until it starts to until it gets in there and it starts screwing down. So that's what I did just to make the screws, just to put threads in there. There's probably better ways to do it, but that's my way of doing it. And the holes pretty much line up, so what I'm going to do is... Well, these aren't really magnetic, but... i put them in. I'm going to screw them down. 
Now they're not gonna sit flush because they're not flat. They have kind of a curved end. They're meant for more of the um, the other kind. The, uh, what was it? The actual Nutrick um, holes where they kind of curve in. Concave, I think it is, right? Yeah, where they're a little bit concave. So if you can find ones that are super flat or ones that are, or if you go with some that isn't this, uh, this PS4 board that's got the new trick in it, then you'll be fine. And actually, you know what? Those don't need, those aren't really gonna need the nuts just cause they're pretty secure in there. Anyway, that's in there, as you can see. You see they stick out a tiny bit, but they're not gonna crack it. Not gonna crack it, it fits in there just fine. I'm gonna have to blow this out with air just to get any remaining metal particles out. Don't want it. Don't want any of that in there. I might actually mill this out for a 30 millimeter and then the next one might be a 30 millimeter just so that they uh they're differentiated so you can tell that these are supposed to be all three and R3. I don't know. This will be the touchpad, the red one. I realized that I can replace these with uh, Sanwas because I took Sanwas out of the hitbox and they're white, so I think that will be a better choice. I can push these sons of bitches out. I don't like these ones. These ones, these buttons are like the worst. I really should get that, uh, was it the Butter Arcade? He got, he has these button squeezers. I don't know if I'd be able to get them into these tight kind of areas, but that would be cool to get. Those buttons I should just throw away. I'm not going to use them ever, but let's just snap in some, let's snap in these sound was. At least get some reuse out of these. And they're better than the generic like Chinese buttons that uh, that were in here before. Okay, so next we're gonna install the board. And this is just gonna be for a test fit, like uh, the this is just to see how everything's gonna line up. Let's see. So I think that's not going to work how I thought it would. It's a little disappointing, but I will be able to do it sideways or diagonal. So I think what I'll do is so that they're at least somewhat plugged in. I'm going to plug it in, I'm going to screw it in like that, and then I'm going to see what my clearance is like. Because if I can't use this, these screw terminals, then I'll just have to um, get those adhesive feet that this thing came with and put it down here somewhere. Now it's not going to matter too much which way it goes in because it could very much, all it'll do is just short the board and you just, it doesn't, it doesn't permanently destroy it by the way, just calm down before you hear the word short and think that it break that it breaks your board, actually won't, it, I just say that because I've done it before where I put it backwards and I just flipped the 20 pin around and it was fine, okay. So with it bent, pre-bent like that, it's kind of like that, 90 degree angle kind of, yeah. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and install the whole thing. First thing is, is we're gonna do this. And I believe this is just to connect it to here. Yeah, because there's two. Okay, I see how it goes. I've never installed a PS4 board, the PS3, PS4 board here. We might have to go and hunt down a zip tie or a, uh, what do they call it on the Verge PC bill? They called it a, uh, uh, what do they call it? Tweezer? Tweezer. We're going to have to go hunt down a tweezer. Touchpad key, L3, R3 ground. Okay, it's the middle one. I would be using that other one, but that's for a separate build that I have to do. So, it's the middle one. Almost forgot. should be fine let's uh let's go ahead and let's just assemble the whole thing i think i really don't like how that happened you know what let's just go ahead and install the buttons first before we go plugging everything in because i still got to mill out the other hole for the l3 and then the r3 so this isn't going to be done quite right now There we go. That looks good to me. So we'll leave it at there for right now, and then I'm going to get all the other stuff done, and then we're going to come back.
Okay, so we're back after all of that. You should have seen the uh, the B-roll, the gameplay, all this other stuff. The only thing that I didn't include was me uh, drilling the holes up here to mount the three extra buttons that I needed for the touchpad, the L3, and the R3. That ended up being a really big pain in the ass because this is some pretty um, durable metal. And it took forever to get these three holes drilled. <laughs> And uh, I went, uh, there's a couple of issues I had. I went a little overzealous on the first two uh, holes and uh, they were too big, even though it was technically 24 millimeter. Um, it was, there was just too much play for uh, for the buttons to move around. And even this one kind of moves around a bit, but I kind of secured it in the back just to make sure it doesn't move. The first one I ended up drilling out to be a 30 millimeter hole and this thing will not come out. I stuck it in there after. And I can't get this button out anymore. So it's that's the touchpad button, and it's a big red 30 millimeter. The rest of them are 24. The uh, hole for that I drilled for the uh, board for the USB cable, as well as this last button over here, these are actually perfect. So I left them the way it is. Uh, yeah, that was a pain in the ass. <laughs> it took like I want to say like 30 minutes of milling out those holes just to get them right. And uh, yeah, that was one of the issues. The other one was that because the surface I was working on, the metal shards got on and just kind of scratched up the bottom. You can kind of see it, but it's metal and it's black. It's not going anywhere outside of uh, staying in here. So, you know, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, the other thing was that these screws aren't like the perfect, they aren't flat, so they don't sit flush with the uh, with this board here which again, isn't really too much of an issue. I didn't over tighten them. I just made sure that these kind of just hold the board in place. Uh, the other thing I didn't get to put in here, it didn't come in on time was uh, I went on eToki's site and I bought that 3M uh, non-slip padding that they have that they put on the, that you can put on the bottom of your stick. Uh, I got two of them because I want to put the pads on here or on the bottom. Those didn't come in, so those aren't going to be there but they will be added on off video whenever those come in. But yeah, we replaced all the screws on the bottom with the uh, little nubs to have it sit on tables and whatever, just because I didn't want to have to go through because they're hex screws, I think. So I didn't want to have to go through and like screw them in and unscrew them just to get to there. I'd rather just have them, I could just tighten them and twist them off with my thumb. Uh, we kept, we cleaned it up for the most part. These buttons are just kind of scratched already, so no matter what cleaning you do, they're going to be a little dirty. Uh, these buttons, again, they're great. Uh, I've used them before. I used the uh, other ones that you saw on the uh, when I did the Obsidian conversion to the hitbox. So that's that's already there. Those buttons are great. This one is just a 30 millimeter Seimitsu button. It's good. Uh, I started off on Seimitsu's, that stick that you see in the back, the Fusion uh, Sapphire. That one had all Seimitsu parts, so Seimitsu's are where I got my start. And my friend really likes Seimitsu buttons. He had these three in here, the rest were all Sanwas, and he said he wanted ones that felt like this. And that's what I got him. I got him Seimitsu buttons, and he likes them in the Kwanba, and I'm sure he'll like it when it comes to this. The buttons I replaced on the top were all the son was that came off of the uh, that came off of this same hitbox. For some reason, I thought I was gonna have to have extra buttons. I didn't have enough buttons. I was gonna have to have some like silver ones and whatever. But I remembered as soon as I took them all off that oh yeah, I actually have a bunch of white son was and a red 30 millimeter that I can put there so I can keep the aesthetic of the white, black, and red. I can keep that all the same. So. Yeah, uh, in testing, it's like a hitbox. You know, I'm not the most uh, pro hitbox player. I don't play on it very often, but it is still a fun controller to use. Uh, I really like how easy it is to do, you know, I like how easy it is to do electrics, how easy it is to wave dash. Uh, because of the small spacing with the 24 millimeter buttons, 
it's a lot easier to two hand stuff. And uh, yeah, it's overall, it's just, it is a good stick. So yeah, that's it for this video. This is more of just kind of like trying to fix a problem but instead of fixing it, I just decided to upgrade the whole damn thing. Uh, I might start off a new series where if you, uh, I, I got somebody who emailed me about an issue that he has with his crystal trying to um, take apart the stick or something like that. And I was thinking maybe I might do that as a series of videos where I troubleshoot some of your guys' problems. Uh, the email is on my YouTube channel if you want to go ahead and shoot me an email. Uh, I do get to look at those when they show up, so... If I don't directly respond to you there, I'll probably, if it's big enough of a problem, a big enough of a problem, I'll probably turn it into a video. So, yeah, uh, that might be something that I do in the future uh, if I get enough requests or questions and all that, that is. But, that's it for this video because I have this guy to get working on right after I upload this video. So... Uh, this one of these two may be coming out before the other. I think this one might come out first. That one might come out second. But uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, this if this is before Christmas, happy holidays. If this is after Christmas, happy holidays, because it's the holidays until January first, apparently. But yeah, we got the cross up next, and we got some other stuff that we need to uh, do videos on. So, with that being said, I'm Dan. This is Hurtbox TV. Like the video if you liked it. I'm doing this out of order again. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you did. Uh, you can comment whatever you want in the description. Or in the description. In the comment section. Uh, check out links to where you can buy all this stuff in the description. Um, yeah, support us over on Teespring. Purchase one of our shirts. This is the old version of the electric t-shirt. The new versions have come out. The ones with the uh, actual PlayStation uh, coloring for the number pad for the uh, button notation and then there's also things like patreon go check us out on twitch uh, i'm on twitter all that other stuff so go ahead and check all those links out and yeah with that being said check out some of the other videos that we've done like the old uh, hitbox review that i did way back in the day and uh as well as the kwanba uh hitbox mod video that i did back in the day those will probably be in the end card so without any more uh delay I'm Dan, this is Hurtbox TV. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.